This is the voice of heaven again. I'm here with a report that says the mystery of the bed. A lot of people sleep on the bed, but they don't understand the mystery of the bed. The Bible said in Psalm, Stand in and sit not, commune with your own heart upon your bed and be still. Stand in and sit not, commune to commune is to fellowship with your own heart upon your bed and be still. In other words, bring down the glory of God upon your bed. In other words, assemble the angels of God round about your bed. In other words, call down the fire of God on your bed. Because the bed is a very special altar that can attract either God or Satan. What you do on your bed determines who you call, who you attract, the door you open. Because the Spirit of God is knocking and Satan is banging. When you worship on your bed, you bring down the glory. When you pray on your bed, you bring down the glory. When you commune within your heart on your bed, you hear the voice of God talking to you, revealing matters to you because the night time is a quiet time in Genesis and God came in the cool of the day in Psalm chapter 6 verse 6 I am weary with my groaning all the night make I my bed to swim I water my couch with my tears in other words your bed can be a place of tears and sorrow when your bed is not dedicated in prayer when your bed is not dedicated in worship and praises to the almighty God the bed can be a place where demons come to afflict you and oppress you when men are sleeping you begin to think because they won't let you sleep they are troubling you with thoughts the Bible said when men slept, the evil man came and saw the evil seed. We are on the bed. When you are sleeping, if the bed is not consecrated and protected with the walls of fire, then the devil will come to sow evil seed. That is why many of you will wake up the next morning and begin to be a wire. Some of you grow the spirit of lust. It was never in you. You find it difficult to fight it. It becomes uncontrollable because the seed planted in you is propelling you. It's compelling you. You are being impaired to dig your grave. Don't be doomed. And that is why I'm here. That is why God sent me to you. That is why he anointed me with his revelation. That ye may be set free. That ye may be delivered from the bed of darkness in psalm 41 verse 3 the lord will strengthen him upon the bed of languishing the bed of what languishing it means the bed of sorrow the bed of mourning the bed of lamentation a cost bed when your bed is not dedicated another bed will be planted on your bed and whenever you lie down you lie down on that miserable bed and whatever they ordain on that bed begins to control your life. Ah, Mukaliga eni muskaraba, negrindia eko peti alaba. I am dedicating your bed now. Iko belele be shikra na menyo melata. The Lord will strengthen him upon the bed of languishing. That will make all his bed in his sickness. Some of you contacted your sickness while you were sleeping. You slept strong, you woke up with sickness. 
because they laid you on the bed of language the bed of sorrow the bed of war in Psalm 63 verse 6 when I remember thee upon my bed and meditate on thee in the night watches it means if you must survive the mystery of the bed you must remember God what do you remember when you're on the bed some of you we carry your phone and begin to press some of you we begin to smoke and drink on your bed some of you commit fornication on the bed and you call the spirit of Jezebel and when you sleep demons begin to make love with you they begin to rape you because you did not remember the Lord upon your bed you did not meditate on his word in Psalm 139 verse 8 if I ascend up into heaven thou art there if I make my bed in hell behold thou art there it means your bed can be in hell but if the Lord is not there you will be tormented how do you bring your Lord your God into your bed that is made in hell it is by communion and meditation when I'm going when are you going to rise up when are you going to wake up from your sleep and slumber for this is the very deceit that the devil has used to salvage the church of God for they are all sleeping and Isaiah said they are all sleeping dog none of them buckets in Psalm 149 verse 5 let the saints be joyful in glory let them sing aloud upon their bed when you sing on your bed the angels gather around you the Lord comes to lie with you so when the devil comes you can call on him and he will fight for you several occasions I've seen the Lord on my bed lying with me and he communicated mysteries to my ears that men cannot utter one time I saw him in the morning and in the trance I saw myself in the spirit saying good morning father who is the first person that received your greeting in Proverbs he said war unto he that greeted his neighbor with a loud voice early in the morning the first person you should greet on your bed is the Holy Spirit the mystery of the bed demons are walking everywhere if you must save yourself from destruction from being savaged and ravaged like a piece of garbage then you must commune in the spirit upon your bed prayers worships praises Anima tu brega de me soteliada Malika bana mana ma sheke de mana la bada Grandi aga men yogo prenega niada Aya la ma shiri brada bada bada ba I dedicate your bed to the almighty Whatever that is sleeping with you on your bed it sees today Whatever that comes to oppress you on your bed it is condemned today whatever that comes to rob you your dreams and revelations today they are utterly destroyed by this insight by this revelation by this truth by this word from God the monarch of the universe is coming to join you on your bed Hear your boy, son of David. 
God's servant, God's son, the born servant of our Lord Jesus Christ, the minister of righteousness, the minister of truth, and time prophet.